I really, I, I do not believe, Walter, that I can physically uh, and mentally I go on a couple of nerves break down. I don't want to be in this place like Wilson. And I, don't, uh, I do not believe I can physically and mentally uh, carry the responsibilities of the bomb and the, the world and the, the Negroes and the, the South and so on and so forth. Now, they're younger men and, and better prepared men and better trained men and Harvard uh, uh, educated men. And, and uh, I know my own limitations, but I just don't believe that I have the physical and mental strength to carry it. And I, uh, I think time to make that decision while they're there and not after they go home. Talked about it a good deal this morning. I have read the statement in 20 years, but I'm just getting ready to write this one. I just got one more sentence on it. I told him to have a helicopter stand by, and I'll decide uh, during the lunch hour I'm going to meet with the Security Council, and uh, I'll decide during the lunch hour what I do about it. And either come on up there or call in the press conference here. You have any? Uh, any idea of what should be better from your vantage point? I would, uh, from my standpoint, it'd be better here because uh, uh, you don't have to uh, you don't have to uh, go through any of the handshaking and, and the fall roar. Uh, on the other hand, you kind of hate the managers, you know, the folks that are you to hear it through the press. And, uh, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. I told you that. Well, I think I... That's what uh, I think it will be. Bird thought to the order up there because uh, uh, it wasn't quite right to hold them up this long and have everybody guess. I think I've got to decide on the vice president today because I'm just being interviewed every 10 minutes and that's the whole thing. It's undignified. You know.